All right, last submitted question here. John Nab is wondering, can you breathe in that thing, the mask? I love that question. And yes, I can actually. Um, the thing is, before that, I had like these weird mask, latex masks, and they have been the worst. It was so sweaty, so oh bad. bad. Like I, I put the mask up and I was able to just pour it and it, it was Ew. disgusting. Yeah, it was really, really bad. Ew. <laughs> um, I have no idea how Fun Case is doing that with his, um, he has like, his mask is out. It's a cloth one though. Yeah. And back in the days, I, re <clears throat> I remember one show, I think it was in Amsterdam, and he had this mask like sitting on the table and you smelled that mask in the next room. Ooh. Yeah, it it's like a sock. Really that's, like, yeah, that's like, bad. like you're really, really like someone is dying in their socks. Oh my or god! Like and then he has to put it on his face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, it, it was really, really bad. Um, but my mask now is made uh, from Smirk, uh, just to to name drop here a bit. Um, amazing guy from Berlin. Um, he just knows how to work his craft. Um, it's it's really. There's a lot of air circulating in the mask. Like it's it's pretty free here on the side. So it's just here on my, my head and then like in front of my face. And it ends here pretty much. Mm -hmm. And because I'm wearing like a like a ski mask under it, which is a really good quality and a really good um cloth, um, it's it's pretty easy with breathing and the air actually, and actually with seeing. Like there's there's one so talking about the mask, there's many layers to the mask. One is sitting there actually. I haven't showed this one yet. Oh yeah, <laughs> there it is. Um, and um, it, it's pretty crazy because there's one layer that is pretty much covering my whole face and it just has like holes in it. And if the mask lights up, it shows a skull, like some, some kind oh, cool. of stylized skull. And through these holes, I can see perfectly through them, but from the outside, you don't see anything under it. So it looks just yeah. like a black cover. Mm -hmm. And I don't know how he did that, but it's pretty insane. Like how he just makes his stuff is, is incredible and it works pretty damn good yeah he's that's art. amazing because i always wondered yeah. with like artists like at aliens like how yeah. the hell can they like yeah. breathe through that thing and like them. see and, like, yeah, yeah. Drink. I'm, I'm just so happy that it's just like covering parts of my face and not like everything so i can actually breathe under it um yeah. that makes it a lot easier it's just built really really well yeah, yeah. you don't want to pass out on stage <laughs> not being able to breathe yeah. Yeah, correct <laughs> All right. Well, speaking of which, uh, we're going to jump into our lightning round here. Sounds so good. how many masks do you have? Um, talking about the Cold Pandora mask as well, or just the Inhuman masks? All of them. All of okay, them. Okay. So it's <laughs> one, two, every mask you own. Four, and just thinking about all the possibilities with a new one, it must be like 10 or something. Yeah, wow. it's, it's four Coat Pandora masks and then many, many ways to wear the new one and modulate this. Yeah. Sick. Um, oh, yeah. What is your pre-show routine? Pre-show routine? Um, actually being really silent in the green room and just sitting there <laughs> <laughs> and waiting, waiting until I play. Because I have this problem. Um, actually had the same problem before our call, had the same problem before my last interview with a local band. Um, when there's only like like an hour between the last thing I did mm -hmm. and the next thing I have to do, I'm like paralyzed because I'm like, my brain is like, okay, I could start something, but maybe I need too much time to do that. So yeah. I'm just waiting now, but the time is running so slow. So I have to do. And then you're just on your phone. Yeah. And then you're just <laughs> paralyzed looking, scrolling Instagram or some shit like that. Yeah. Like, it's not really yep. a good thing to do. Um, <laughs> That's most of the time what I do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's really boring. <laughs> yeah. Some people have like these elaborate routines before their shows. Yeah. So we had to yeah. ask. Yeah. But, what is um, your dream festival? My dream festival? To play or? Mm -hmm. um, so there's one festival talking about techno shows um here i think it's in in the czech republic called blackworks Ooh. um you have to check it right out now. if you don't know that that sounds um, cool what they do is just absolutely insane it's like mainly industrial dark techno and stuff like that but oh. it's i don't know thirty thousand people or something it's insane black sphere festival uh Bla black black works. Works. oh black works rave is not a crime it says uh yeah yeah spain? I think so. it should be from them is it spain yeah I'm seeing, oh, Madrid. Yeah, Madrid. 
Ooh, Maybe it's I the love same. the yo this love poster the poster is... yeah but they they do that like crazy tight. stuff and they have like different clubs as far as I know they do shows in but sometimes they have like these huge festival type things with yeah f- I don't know ten thousand people or something dude it's, it's I hate models is playing oh wow yeah yeah it's really really big sometimes wow it's in March um, we're gonna miss it and. Another one that I'm really looking forward to um, is the, the, what is it called again? The Festival from Sun Death. Oh, Summoning, Summoning Festival? Summoning Fest, yeah. I think mm-hmm. branding-wise and everything, I would fit there pretty well. Um, and, totally. Uh, yeah, I, I know Danny for ages now. And um, it's so funny because I think his manager is called Colin, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so i met him at the blacklist festival actually another dream festival oh, of mine but i played there already <laughs> so, so you check uh, that yeah. out it's uh it's it's so cool and i met colin there he was there and he told me he's he's watching my reactions on youtube which is so random oh. yeah yeah he, he says yeah yeah it's kind of nice entertainment and you know what you're talking about so i'm checking it out from time to time i, I mean coming from him why? that's a pretty big compliment <laughs> yeah absolutely Absolutely, mm-hmm. it's pretty cool, and and they are just nice people, you know. They, they are, are really nice, and um, yeah, it would be pretty cool to play there for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Um. All right, Mac or PC? Uh, PC. Mm, I knew you were a PC guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's because tell. I'm used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Ableton or FL? FL, but I stopped using it, and now I'm using Bitwig. Oh, never yeah. heard of that one. Wow. Yeah, it's, so I'm I'm using a lot of modular stuff now. So there's like a, I get pretty, it, it's getting bigger from time to Damn. time. Damn. Just like a Whoa. Euro Got a whole mine in there. Um, and Bitwig is pretty good in connecting like the digital world and the analog world. So um, that just makes it easier. And the workflow is kind of like Ableton, mm-hmm. um, just a bit more modular and a bit more connected like to the whole analog stuff. So that's why I got into it. And now I'm just really familiar with the workflow. And I think I could go to Ableton now, but I forgot how to use FL. It's <laughs> it's so crazy. Like once you get used to one thing, you just forget the shortcuts and everything, and it, it's it's the worst. I love FL still. Um, I used it for nine or ten years now, um, mm-hmm. and just started using Bitfreak for half a year now. But I already forgot all the commands on FL. It's crazy. Damn, that's interesting. Cool yeah. yeah. Well, whatever works for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. However, yeah, you can make those so. albums. Correct. Correct. Yeah. (laughs) Okay. Two more questions. The next one is who are your producer best friends? Producer best friends, uh, definitely quiet. Um, he, he's with me for ages now and he's, he's just, uh, yeah, the nicest person ever. Uh, we just dropped the song murder vibe. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Drop that name here, which is doing surprisingly well. It's, it's a pretty old song and we just put it out for for fun and it, now it's like at 25,000 streams or something in a week oh wow yeah not even Damn. a week yeah it's pretty solid um <clears throat> and yeah pretty much the whole crossness family is just good friends for me so there is sadu um there is madcore for example um there is um foreign who is doing some cool stuff and there's just just many people on the label crossness that i i just love as people as well so I'm mainly working with good friends of mine, which is just a really, really good bonus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Love it. Hell yeah. Well, we're going to finish off this mm-hmm. lightning round with our famous question here. Okay. <laughs> Who are you going to fuck, marry, and kill? Fuck, marry, and kill. Um, <laughs> yes. It's a, well, I, we have three people here, <laughs> wife, so you're going to yeah. have to choose. You're going to have to choose. <laughs> so we got... You got, you got three people. Yeah. <laughs> okay so yeah fuck mary kill. i will write them down okay amir uh amir okay quiet okay and omas oh my god okay so <laughs> i'm you can only marry one <laughs> yeah i i will marry omas um because he likes pizza just as much as i do and mm. then we could just eat pizza all the time i think that would be really good we would be round after that Mm-hmm. and maybe not fit through the door or anything but pizza is a good thing that <laughs> you can roll each other around <laughs> yeah 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 absolutely 600 pounds <laughs> i would fuck emir because he's hot oh is he he is a pretty good yeah. looking guy i might yeah, have to look is. him up mm-hmm. he's mainly wearing a mask <laughs> he, yeah he, he he he's a 
a dessert. Oh, a snack. He's a snack. Yeah. yeah. He's a snack. I would kill quiet. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because he knows how I mean it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he makes some pretty fire tunes as well. So yeah, I don't blame yeah, you. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Good Thank answers. You. Thank you. So Thank I guess you're going to kill quiet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Going to kill quiet. Oh, RIP. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, it's it's the thing when you like with best friends and everything, it's love hate. You know how it is. Mm-hmm. Like when you when you are with people most of the time and uh, just talk to them a lot, there is more to kill about them than on other people. <laughs> yeah. You don't know that close, I think. <laughs> yeah, I would do the same if yeah. someone asked me that question and Chrissy was in it. I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm killing Chrissy." Yeah, it just <laughs> makes I'm not sense, even mad. Right? I'll see you in hell. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it would be a cool tweet. Mm-hmm. I just killed my best friend and here's a picture and stuff. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, you can do that. The clout, you know, she would get yeah, a lot yeah. of clout and a lot of likes on that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, wow, that was a really good episode. We talked a lot about the tour and what you have coming up and Crow's mm-hmm. Nest Audio, everything. So Absolutely. do you have any final words you'd like to say to our audiences who are listening? Um, so first of all, I wanted to t- uh, thank both of you um just for taking the time here for the interview um giving me the stage to talk about the album and everything because it just means a lot to me to talk about the label just starts again um also dealing with my brain farts when it comes to planning stuff you know i'm talking (laughs) about the album yeah Um, Mm -hmm. but um yeah also just for the support you guys are giving me you're giving the label and everything so thank you so much for that i appreciate it a lot Um, absolutely and to the audience uh, just thank you for listening this podcast here Uh, definitely check the other episodes how many are there too many to count (laughs) we have six seasons and there's about 10 in each season so holy shit i have to catch up i have to check them out for real there's Um, your airplane audio yeah it is it is can you download them like can you Mm -hmm. on spotify yeah perfect okay i Mm -hmm. i got that and apple Um, uh and amazon podcasts yeah mm mm-hmm Nice. That's pretty cool. I did not know that actually. (laughs) Yeah. We're all over the place. Awesome. And um, yeah, thank you for checking this out. Um, Make sure to uh, save the February end of February date somewhere because the first single of my album is coming out. Um, We have a really, really amazing visualizer for that. And we got the new art direction now. And um, this will pretty much be the start of the Inhuman project, how it was intended from the beginning. And um, it would mean the world if you would check it out. If you support my label, of course, um, we just dropped some merch as well. If you're interested, Ooh. just to use Ooh, this okay. as a marketing driver now. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, just thank you guys for the support and checking this out. I appreciate it. Thank you for being our guest. My pleasure. My pleasure. <laughs>